So we're taking a walk through their booth right here. The first section that you come into is over here to the left. They talk about the cinematic for film my for filmers for filming. This is not consumer grade products right here. This is for interprofessional people. And then they have the nerve to show off a camera over here, right there, as you see right here, where they're showing off how you have the technology behind the camera. That camera is not for the average consumer. It is not geared towards you. It's, ear, it's geared at filmmakers and production people. Again, they, they, then they showed off their PlayStation 5. Fine, they want to get fans engaged at the show. They have their PlayStation set up. But we know what the PlayStation 5 is. We've already seen it. We don't need to see more of it. But I guess they want to have more people at the show. Then they also showed off their PlayStation VR 2. Again, it's already out. We know what it's like. Yeah, I guess they wanted to show off something. They didn't show off anything new. Other than that, that was pretty much it from Sony. There was nothing else from Sony at the show. It was a wasted, waste of, waste of space, waste of time. And the booth was not even a car. This was actually the best part about Sony was they actually had a place where people could sit down. So if you wanted to take a load off, you actually go over there and sit down. That was the best thing about Sony from their show. Everything else was just a waste of time. It was pointless for Sony to be there. I, I just don't know why they even bothered to show up because it, it, it made no sense. Nothing other than showing off the PlayStation and the, and the VR 2, there was nothing that was consumer facing in their booth. So again, they're not showing off any TVs. They were doing separate events to show that off. It was just a waste of time, waste of opportunity, waste of money. Uh, if you're familiar with Sony, they do have an electric car that they are coming out with. They are partnered with Honda Mobility. That did have its separate booth. Again, we've already seen that for years. Uh, again, it does look cool. It does look nice. That's probably all they should have showed at the show. They shouldn't have had this whole booth right here. You see, it wasn't even that crowded at Sony's booth. Very disappointed about what they're showing. And I don't know why they think that they can just show up here, show something that's not even consumer facing. I think they're just too arrogant and think that they can just get away with with, with that. Why yeah, I'm not trying I'm not a Sony hater, but I just think that this is just drives into their overall TVs that cost an arm and a leg more than other manufacturers where you can get the same performance if not better performance at a much cheaper price so sony's arrogance is starting to show it's again they did this last year they didn't show up any tvs and if you if i think back to a, a few years they tend to do this they're not showing much in terms of tvs and tvs that they do show they were showing off their their xvr series they were more you know professional grade tvs then they finally decided to bring in some consumer or you know, customer facing uh, TVs a little bit later, you know, to the to the show. But so they will have an event later on to show off these TVs. So yeah, I'm just 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 disappointed by Sony and uh, again their arrogance of not showing anything at the show. It's just it's, it's just astounding. I, again, I don't know why they show up at the show. They could just keep that to themselves and just be done with it. It is, it's just a waste.